So you're going to have enough tight ends on Sunday, and could we possibly see Bronson for the first time uh, tight end if things don't go your way? Uh, it's it's just a matter of how it all plays out, and you know, with the uh, new rules that kicked in, uh, with those guys being eligible to come back on game day. Uh, but you know, Bronson's getting the brunt of uh, you know Mercedes's reps at this point. Um, things that he's been uh, doing throughout the season, obviously, you know, with the look team, um, he's been preparing just like a, a starter would um, as far as mentally. Uh, he may have not gotten the amount of reps that obviously we would like as a, a starting why, uh, but, you know, his progression throughout the season has been fun to watch. Um, but it's just a matter of, you know, how it all plays out with, you know, symptoms and all that. Another one, Tom. No, I'm I'm good. Jason Wilby. Hey, Justin. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Um, when you kind of look at the last several weeks from uh, Josiah, how do you kind of view where he's at and what kind of strides he's made positively? And and is it just a is it a consistency thing to get him to where you want him to be, or, or where do you feel like he's at? Uh, I feel like he um, he's just progressively gotten better. Um, you know, the protection part of it as far as how to put his body in the right spot against a, a bigger opponent. Um, you know, he's, he's not going to be the guy that is out there and throwing bodies around, but he's going to use his technique and his uh, leverage to his advantage. And he's done that really well the last couple weeks, um, you know, and he's just gotten better in that world. Uh, when it comes to... Reading coverages, I feel like he's got a really good feel for that. Uh, you can start to see the jiggle that uh, he came in with, uh, that we, uh, you know, he went on one-on-one matchups. He's done, he's getting better at that. Um, as far as his ceiling, you know, it's 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 still high. You know what I mean? Like he's he's gonna keep growing in in every facet uh, of this game, whether it's mentally or physically. Um, I'm really happy with his progress so far. Um, you know, him getting the brunt of the reps now that, um, you know, he had a step in that role when Bobby went down. I feel like, uh, you know, it's just a repetition thing. And for a guy missing, you know, most of his first year, you know, this is just a continuation of his rookie season physically. You know, mentally, you know, he's he's really advanced um, in that room. Um, and he, he asks the right questions. Uh, he's on top of the film work. Um, he's just a, he's a grinder and he's, he's a football junkie. So... Um, you know, it's he's really, really exciting to be around too. You can tell he's a natural born leader. Um, you know, he's just got that charisma that people want to attract to and um, he handles himself extremely well. Uh, if you didn't know him and you met him for the first time last year, you would think he was uh, in the league for about five years already. So it's a credit to him and uh, the role that he's taken on and uh, the game is definitely not too big for him. He's He's competing his butt off out there. He's being physical, um, and he's just understanding the techniques that we're, you know, trying to ingrain in him. Mark Daniels. Hey, Justin. Um, you know, without said, you know, are you going to kind of maybe get him on the horn with uh, Dominique and just go over the final points, finer points of inline uh, blocking at that position on Sunday night because you're going to need, obviously, a, a little bump there. Uh, you know, Daphne's had a lot of bank reps uh, at that position in line um, the last two seasons. Now it's been sporadic, obviously, due to injury, but um, I feel comfortable with him in that spot in uh, certain situations. Now, as far as game planning, we just don't uh, throw plays out there formationally and, and schematically um, and just see what works. It's it's very uh, intricate and looking, diving down deep and using their strengths to their advantage and, and how can we make it all look the same uh, from the previous week and build off of that. So we don't put those guys typically in spots where they're just uh, going to hurt the team. We put them in um, just spots where they can perform and uh, be very competitive. Um, but we'll never put a, a guy like that in a situation where he's just got to handle a guy that's getting paid millions of dollars to rush the edge and uh, set the edge and, and have a guy that's you know built for moving around um, to block him. That's not where you. That's not winning football. So um, we'll be smart with uh, who we have on Sunday and uh, we'll adjust around that. Jason Roby, do you have another? I do. Uh, thanks, Jo, for that answer on uh, Josiah. That was really helpful. Um, 
when, when we last saw uh, Dom in the media auditorium, uh, he, we, he was starting to emerge, and little did we know that he had that hip issue when he limped up to the podium. Um, how much has that kind of, I don't want to say stunted his growth, but he seemed to be, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, in a really good place and trending in a really good direction and it felt like that kind of set him back. Where do you think he's at now? And, and how do you get him back to kind of where he was trending at that time? Um, I feel like this environment that we've created, uh, not just in our room, but what Matt has created in this, this culture and this team is uh, just a positive environment and a growth environment. Um, when you're in a spot like that in an organization like this, um, it's really hard to have those dark days when you walk in a room, uh, especially in a meeting room, um, around guys that want to be here and, and love each other and uh, just they battle and they have fun doing it. And, you know, he's, he's in a great spot mentally. Um, you know, you're always going to have those, you would call them a rookie wall, but, you know, everybody's going to have that moment in the middle of a season, like this is an extended season of 17 games. You're going to have a moment where you're sitting there going, you know, my body hurts. Uh, there's a lot of pressure on me. And we try to talk about that outright. And you put it on the table and, and have open forums and get things off their chest. And everyone needs that, not just in football, but in life. And, um, you know, if you consistently do that on a weekly basis, it keeps an open slate and uh, that trust factor. Trust is huge um, in any relationship, whether it's intimate or professionally. Like, you got to have that commitment to be able to open up if you do really care about each other um, to talk about things. And, you know, uh, he's, he's, he's been great all season. And, um, you know, he's, he's hit, you know, voids with, um, you know, injuries and stuff like that. But he knows that he's going to come back and bounce back from an even stronger, you know, opportunities that get divvied up throughout uh, the guys that are going to be playing that week. You know, each week is, you know, who can help us out the most this week. So it's just a competitive nature that we have in our room that's really exciting. Um, and, you know, it's each week you got to see, it's exciting to see who's going to step up.